Comston Farmers, welcome back to Comston Farm. So, feed the dog. First off, I've had a bit of a change in my production shenanigans. Yeah, the um, the fabric factory, spinnery, whatever you want to call it. And then, obviously, the tailor shop was taking its sweet time in making stuff. So, I've swapped it out for a couple of different ones. <laughs> Excellent. I'm going to get me fabric brand. Fabric brand. Me fashion brand, that's better. Get that going a lot better. Now, we'll come up here. Obviously, we've already got two of these factories on the go. One doing sugar and one doing flour over by the donut factory. But these are going to be much better because they're going to work faster. Although, that being said, there's only one pallet there. That's uh, there too many pallets. That's interesting. Well, have I hit the pallet limit? Oh dear, oh dear. Right, so it looks like, yeah, with all the other pallets that we've got on the go, I may have hit the pallet limit. Hmm, interesting. In that case, then, we best tidy up our production chains on the go, get everything put back in, like the sugar beets going in there. I think we'll start off with the lettuces. Well, let's have a bit of a tidy up then. So, that's everything sorted out. Now, question is, it's saying that there's too many pallets. So I need to go and have a quick look 
at my fabric factory to see actually what's going on because now all the pallets are done and out of the way sold off put into the next production chain whatever you want to call it we should be okay now so let's go have a look see if there's any more popped out because you had the one that popped out to start with which is great what have we got now Ooh, yes we have we look, well we got two put it that way so we've doubled the output that we currently had well one's nearly going to be coming out soon as well so if we just chuck these straight into the clothing oh i just chucked it over there why not we chuck that in there like that and then we'll chuck the other one in as well they can then be making the clothes being said that's only it's only two pallets worth which is pretty much what we was getting out of the original spinnery hmm all right maybe this isn't as quick as what i was hoping hold on a minute what's going on there i should be making clothes but that's made fabric that's that's really random what's what's going on with this all right we'll chuck that back in And it comes straight out the other side. Um, that is really strange. Because that one, let's make sure it is actually on clothes. Yeah, so fabric's not on the go. And yeah, clothes are being made. That's really random. Just saying that it can only hold one pallet of fabric. All right, we'll see. We'll see how it gets on because we got to be cracking on with a rubber job. That is really random. All right, we'll carry on. So the next job in hand. Obviously, we've harvested the wheat off of field five last time out. Now we need to start the prep again. Obviously, the corn's not ready to harvest yet, so that'll be possibly tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Obviously, prep work carries on. Farming never stops. Dear, oh dear. So, first thing I'm going to do on the new field, well, the new field, on field five, the newly harvested field, got a choice. Obviously, plough it out or we can spray herbicide later on. Now, I'm not really one for chemicals like that. Obviously, yeah, we have the fertiliser, that's all right. Chemicals itself, like herbicides, yeah, they're, they're not good for the plants. So, I'm going to just plough it out. I might as well, I've got the plough already, and that'll get rid of the weeds anyway. Yeah, right. I have to go and take this, although I can drive it across the field. Yeah, I'm going to leave the trailer here, because we've only got to do field five. And get to it down the bottom end of this field. Yeah, it'll be alright. Right, so I'll hook up the trailer, take the straps off, and then away we go. Right. Let's get Phil Five ploughed out.
Right, so that's that field ploughed. Excellent. Now, the next thing we need to do is to get the first layer of fertilizer down before we do the cultivation. Now, there is quite a lot of stones on this field, and obviously, once we get the cultivator on the go as well, it's going to pull up some more. So, at some point, I do need to go and get myself a stone picker. But we're not ready for that just yet. So the next job in hand is going to be to do a load of fertiliser. Which is alright, because I've got a load of fertiliser in my spreader. So we're going to get that all hooked up. And hopefully, right, depending on how well this corn grows, if we don't need to harvest it tomorrow, if it's still a bit early on that one, then we can get the cultivation done and the stones collected tomorrow. That sounds like a plan, although I do need to actually have a look for a corn header for my harvester. I mean, I've only got the normal one. Yeah, that's going to be interesting because we've got some massive fields and not a lot of time once it's ready. All right, we'll have to have a look in the shop to see what we've got, but I think there's something we could be getting on with. Yeah, all right, let's get cracking with this fertilizing then. So that's that fertilizing done. Excellent, means quarter to three. Oh, I think we've made some good progress today. Obviously, I think getting the pallets out of the way with 82 Studios Global Pallet, that's a lot easier than just using an actual trailer. So I might just carry on with doing that anyway. It's loads easier. Hmm. Well, we made some good progress, made a fair bit of cash. We got some field prep done already. Oh, not bad at all. And an early finish. I mean, caught the three, I can still make it for the school run. Ho, ho, ho. Excellent. Right, so I'm going to knock it on the head then. So if you've enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.